Throughout history, skateboard shapes have changed, but one thing that's remained permanent is it consists of a deck, trucks, and wheels. Now with the advancement of materials and technology, this affords skaters all kinds of options to make them the best skaters they can be. What I go for on a board is either an 825 or an 838. Um, and that just measures from side to side. So it's either 8.25 inches or 8.38 inches. Well, first of all, it has a very funny shape. Boards that you see a lot of people ride are called popsicle boards because they look like popsicle sticks. They're like pretty well rounded, and pretty symmetrical. And I like boards with a little bit of shape to them. It used to be like a little teddy bear and it's kind of rubbed off by now, but I really like teddy bears. I like cute stuff. <laughs> I have like big wheels. I like bigger wheels because they roll over stuff better and I like, see the teaser roll fast. I kind of choose my boards with a, a color in mind. So there's a top and bottom ply color and this scion like bluish color is always my favorite and go-to. Skateboarding is an incredible mashup of forces, motion, and skill. A skater's primary tool for making it all come together the board. Consider an ollie, the foundation of street skating tricks. As the skater snaps the board's tail into the ground, they exert a force downward while the ground pushes up with the same force. Jumping to allow the rebounding board to fly into the air, the skater then slides their front foot to guide the board down with the help of friction and gravity. As skaters experiment to master flips, spins, and grinds, they gain an intuitive understanding of physical concepts like angular momentum, torque, and acceleration. They are true masters of both physics and athleticism. So this is the full skateboard put together. Start out with the board. That's usually what people pick out first. Then after that, you're usually picking out your wheels. For the wheels, simple, it's a wheel. They all roll. There's different sizes to the wheels, different hardnesses. Right here, you got the 53 millimeter wheel. Occasionally, they'll say the Duro. You'll usually see a 99 for a hard wheel. So that durometer number, the higher that number goes, the harder your wheel is. The lower that number goes, the softer the wheel is. Durometer is the system for measuring the hardness of rubber and plastic. Softer wheels can absorb bumps and grip ramps better, while harder wheels let skaters slide better and go a little faster. A wheel's size and shape also make a difference. With a bigger diameter, you get slower acceleration, but higher top speeds, ideal for cruising. With a smaller wheel, it's the opposite. And slimmer wheels have a smaller contact patch touching the ground, which means less friction and less wasted energy. So yeah, it's just a wheel, but all these details give skaters the ability to pick the perfect wheel for the way they ride. The board itself sits on a pair of trucks, which are the axles and independent suspension. These are called bushings. And basically what they do is they bring the truck back to zero. You're gonna adjust them depend on weight, height, skill level. So we've got our standard truck here, which is the normal kingpin and the normal axle is, is solid. Whereas with like some of the, the lighter trucks, you have an actual hollow kingpin and a hollow axle so it's lighter and then like with the inverted kingpin you notice all of that room where you have extra grind clearance versus that with these trucks even brand new you almost immediately when you start doing grinds start getting into your kingpin nut whereas with this you may still get into the edge of it but the actual nut is on the bottom like under here you can see it you know even if it gets this part gets shredded, you're gonna be able to still adjust your truck. I've only ever skated wood because I'm very particular. There there have been companies in the past that try to like integrate different aspects to the board like carbon fiber but i've always just preferred as basic as it gets just solid wood over time i'd say wood is just the the best way to go <laughs> if you're getting one that's not wood it's normally kind of a like a gimmick 
40 plus years of skating has cemented maple status as the go-to material because it naturally has a perfect strength to weight ratio for the sport. That means it's light enough, but also strong. Typically constructed in seven thin layers called plies, maple also gives skaters the best balance between crisp action reaction mechanics or pop and flexibility for absorbing the energy of all those big landings. Many skateboard manufacturers source maple wood from trees in colder climates, such as the sugar maple of Canada. Shorter growing seasons in cold climate means tighter growth rings in the tree, making for a denser and stronger wood. The shape comes from the press. You get the glue and the boards together and they'll stack a few into a, a press. It's just big rectangles of wood that has the shape. And then they take them to the router room and route them out and sand them, and then put the graphics on. Modern skateboard wheels have been made out of urethane. That's what enabled people to start riding pools, is because then you could go up and you had traction on the wall. Before that, you had metal, you had clay, you had wood wheels which weren't really good for going fast. Urethane, specifically polyurethane, is a plastic polymer. A polymer is a big molecule made up of smaller repeating molecules. In the 70s, polyurethane revolutionized skateboard wheels and the science has been evolving ever since. Remember how the different kinds of wheels affect skating? Polyurethane can be produced from a variety of starting chemicals, creating different polyurethane molecules. These many recipes make wheels that perform differently. A recent advancement is hybrid wheel technology that uses the power of chemistry to combine the smooth ride of a softer wheel with the ability to power slide. On the outside, these wheels look the same as the older generation, but they are definitely changing the game. I prefer a softer wheel because since I skate street, you're going over rough surfaces. If the wheel's softer, it goes over it a little easier. I skate like a pretty standard like street skater hardness. These are 97s, they're a touch soft for a street open, not really. I think they slide really good despite being a little softer. You just gotta go faster. I just have small wheels because my board isn't that big. Basically anything I have, I like to personalize it and kind of make it my own. I think it's really important to like express yourself with fashion and like with your board. And I think that's a really big part of skateboarding to me especially. In the end, there's no right or wrong skateboard. It's all about how the skater chooses to put these three parts together. <laughs>